So it's been three years since we last saw Shuri. So what was it like returning to her and what can we expect from her in Wakanda forever? It was really exciting to return to Black Panther Wakanda forever. It was exciting to um, represent and be a vessel for Shuri again, going through her own process. Um, and we meet her at a time where she's learning um, about how tough life can be, you know, and, and we see a shift in, in, that, in that spark that we met in the first film. We see something going on there and we, we're unpacking it in this film. So it was really, it was really interesting to go deeper a little bit with her. I love that. I'm excited to see that. So you're the sister of the Black Panther. Yes. Um, you may or may not be the new Black Panther. We wouldn't know. Um, but Kevin Feige did lay out the next few phases of the MCU and has introduced, you know, younger versions of heroes we've already seen. There's like mm. Bishop, Miss Marvel. In this movie, we're going to see Ironheart. Um, do you see Shuri as part of the next generation of superhero teens with their own group? I would love for that to happen. I think Kevin is the best person to talk to. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> so one thing that I love about Black Panther is that there's a really strong female characters. And in this movie, it's going to be, you know, dominant female cast. Um, Ryan does such an amazing job at redefining, you know, motherhood. What's it like to be a sister? And I want to know what's it like for you to be part of this movement of creating a stronger uh, female presence in the MCU? I love it. It's beautiful. It's a way for us to encourage so many women and young girls around the world. It's empowering, it's liberating, um, and to show ways in which um, women can come together on screen is something that we've been waiting for for a long time. And to see that it could birth new films and new ideas in the future, um, it's really beautiful. So yeah, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of it. So you once described this movie as, you know, a love letter to the late Chadwick Boseman. Um, yes. Can you share more about that? And how is that carried through throughout this movie? Oh uh, man, when I say this is a love letter to him, for me, um, it's our way of, and my way as, as Shuri to, to pour my heart into the story and into the film, to make sure that every time I'm on set, I, I do it with excellence and to pour like all of my love for him into into the fibers of the of the story into the fibers of the character so those are the ways in which um i feel like this is a love letter to him and i feel like Hopefully you guys will think the same when you finish watching it. <laughs> I did. I've watched the trailers and it made me cry. So yeah. I know I know the movie's gonna make me cry too. Now the movie looks incredibly action packed and unfortunately you got injured. I'm glad you're doing so much better now. Thank you. Um, what was filming this action sequence is like? Oh man, we have so many great action in this movie. Everybody's, you know, pulling up um, and giving a hundred percent. And I think it's it's a part of the universe, right? You can't have Marvel without action. So I'm um, really excited to see what you guys think of, of the sequences and, and the ways in which everybody's, you know, protecting the nation. Out of everything, what are you most proud of about this movie? I'm proud of a lot. I'm proud of us as a team and as a family that we stay together through, mm. through everything. <laughs> um, you know, it's been a tough time to lose our brother, but we stayed together and we made something beautiful and now we can share it with you guys. <laughs>